Hi. So last week was just a week. If you didn't see last week's Q&A, the boss passed away last week. Um, still dealing with it. Still really, really fresh. She is home with me now. And I am still really struggling with how I'm going to move forward without her. But I'm trying to get better every day. So it's just hard with her not here. But also very shortly after I made that Q&A video, which was less than 48 hours after uh, the boss left me, uh, I started projectile everything out of my body. Um, it was coming up both ends. It was really awful. One of the worst cases of food poisoning. Uh, I have had it a couple times before I have ever had. Um, let's just say that for several days I... Uh, couldn't keep any food or liquids down, thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. Fortunately, I didn't. But now, almost a week later, I am just now starting to introduce small amounts of food, <laughs> small amounts of solid food into my diet. So, um, hence, this is water uh, because there's no way I'm keeping alcohol down right now. So, yeah, uh, also my throat took a beating. I hope everybody's last week was better than mine. And if not, I hope you're doing better um, because... Man, if you're having a worse week than I did last week, you know, you have my sympathy. And before anybody gives me any smoke, um, yes, I do know. These are two of the teams that are playing against each other in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I actually love both teams. I was at both arenas last year to see a home game. I do own a Capitol shirt, but for, but for some reason I didn't buy myself a Rangers glass. So, um... Since they're playing each other this week, I decided to wear my Ranger shirt and have my Capitals mug um, because I actually like both teams quite a bit and uh, I'm not particularly rooting for either team, just hoping both of them play great. So we'll see who comes out on top with that series. But yeah, no smoke, everybody. I know. I know what's going on. Okay. But all of that aside, let's find out about what's happening this week. Same every week, top of month, what's happening this week, you guys get the same speech. I am not omnipotent. I don't know everything that's going on in the world. I just know what's on my little list of things that I've researched. Please don't get angry or be hassle or mean. If there's something that's going on that you think I should know about, you can comment below. I'll also give you a whole list of other places to get a hold of me at the end of this video. Um, if it's still going on next week, I'll be happy to put it on there. If not, I'll make sure it's on next year's list. But no meanies. Like seriously. Before we jump into what's happening this week, if this is your first time here, hi. I'm Gretchen, the tipsy travel gal. I am a licensed esthetician and a travel agent, and it is my goal to eat, drink, and spa my way around the world. I want to show you some amazing things to do and see, and some delicious things to eat and drink. That sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Also in the description of this video is a link to my GoFundMe page. A lot has changed since I started that page. However, if you wanna just take a look and see where I've started, I'm, I am going to try to update it. I just haven't yet. If you got a few extra dollars and you'd like to give me a donation, I would greatly appreciate that as well. But now it is time to see what is going on this week? At this point, a lot of the spring flowers that have been doing their thing have either uh, passed their peak or they're you know still going strong, the ones that are going all the way through the first couple weeks of May. And this week, we've got things that are starting that have absolutely nothing to do with flowers, which is amazing since it's April. Let's start off what's happening this week with heading to Spain. On April 23rd in Barcelona, they celebrate the Festival of San Jordi. Now, technically, April 23rd is World Book Day, and they have turned this into a very romantic festivity. Now, the origin of the Festival of San Jordi is a blend of several different things. First of all, San Jordi is the patron saint of Barcelona. See, he's actually saved Barcelona before. The legend is Barcelona was being terrorized by a dragon who was holding the princess 
captive. And Sanjordi came to town and defeated the dragon in style, I might say, because when he killed the dragon by penetrating his skin with his sword, roses fell out of him. And of course, in a true romantic gesture, he collected all of the best and most beautiful roses and gave them to the princess. Now, the third part of this origin is that it is a medieval tradition. This is where the city goes to visit the chapel of San Jordi at the Palacio de la Generalitat. And this chapel becomes a fair, a lover's fair of sorts. And since it is paired with World Book Day, the streets are lined with bookstalls as well as roses. So as you visit this fair, women buy men books and men buy the women roses. Of course, you are free to buy yourself both. And if you want to buy your man a rose and he wants to buy you a book, go ahead. There is no steadfast rules here. Now, the hours of this festival are kind of like when the vendors come and go. Um, it is free to walk the festival, but you do have to pay for books and roses if you so choose. If you love romance and you love books, head to Barcelona on April the 23rd. Now, for the second thing that's starting this week, we're heading back to North America. It's time to go to Toronto. April 25th through May 5th, Toronto is hosting the Hot Docs International Documentary Film Festival. That is a mouthful. I would just call it Hot Docs, but that's the full name of it. Gotta give it to you. But from here on out, I'm calling it Hot Docs. <laughs> now, do you like documentaries? Because I 100% love documentaries. In fact, when I was laid up with uh, the worst of the food poisoning, I couldn't look at anything that had food. So I stuck with documentaries. Doesn't matter what kind, uh, you know, true crime, political espionage. I love them all. Now, this is North America's largest documentary film festival. There is a website, I will include that in the description of this video, that has a list of all the documentaries that are going to be shown. Believe me, uh, there are a lot of them and pretty much every genre of documentaries is being covered. So that list is already out there available to you. The festival itself is kind of held throughout Toronto. It's really interesting. You know, I like to include pictures of these events as I do these videos, but it's almost impossible to do pictures of these events because it's basically people going to go see these movies. Now, there are uh, round tables and awards. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, you know, throughout Toronto, there are several locations that are showing these documentary films. Again, every film has its location being shown on the website. Of course, we're not just dealing with cinema. There is another component to this film festival. There are partner events and also speaker series, some of which coordinate to the films being shown. And it is a film festival, so there are awards. Now, in terms of like hours, it kind of is determined on the show and event time. So really, if there's something that you want to go to on the website, you're just going to have to find the hours themselves. It's safe to say that there are showings throughout the day. Uh, I started kind of like looking at a general time things were starting and <laughs> I just, there was just no way I could get through all of the movies and look at each showing. So, um, you know, I would say peruse the events, peruse the movies, see what you want to go to. And, you know, that's when you need to be available. The cost for the movies, it's under $20 and you can pre-purchase your tickets online. There are packages available to go to multiple movies or speaker series or some of the partner events. Most of the packages run between two to 300 Canadian dollars. And this is a film society. So you can get a membership to this society. And if you are a member, you will get discounts to all of this. If you're really into documentaries, I would definitely look into membership and take advantage of the discounts on the website. But rest assured, there are a lot of movies being shown in Toronto this month. So that's it for what's happening this week. If you have any questions about the content of this video, please feel free to comment below. Also, if there's something you think I should know about, again, comment below as well. You can also reach me on pretty much all social media platforms. I am Tipsy Travel Gal, all one word, on all the main social media platforms. Also, I do have a website, tipsytravelgal.com. If you look at the top and go to the contact me link, from there, you can send me an email. 
If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I hope you guys are having a great week and until the next time, bye.